<coughs> all right guys i want us to refer to this one a simple drawing that was written on the 1st december 2023 a simple drawing that was written on the 1st of december 2023 so as usual this is what you have to go through first which is your part list your part list you have to have it so we are having item one till item eight and the quantity if you check very well there the quantity they're saying throw it once all of it you have to throw it once one once all of it so all of them so now this is what we have so you know what you have to analyze these views according to what to first angle orthographic projection we are given the projection symbol there so this one was actually straightforward even the way is their position they are too close to each other as such that you can say what this one it would be fitted here this one the way is it is you just put it there so like as much as i used to say Uti, we, we you you check the shape of the item that you want to fit as well as the dimension so those two things they must agree with you is the shape of that particular item that you want to fit it as well as the what the dimension for instance we are having item one so this internal item one which is with hidden details so do you see the shape of it so which means whatever that's supposed to be fitted here is supposed to be in this shape format it's supposed to be according to uh, what you see okay now let's see now let's start item one in most of the time it usually be a bigger item you understand so we used to have a a, a bigger item there by uh, item one so but you 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 won't rely on that sometimes item two it used to be a bigger item as well so but in this case item one it was the bigger one so let's see now what are we going to fit in there so from here till there it's what is 60 okay and the outside the inner diameter is diameter 60 uh, 36 which will correspond with this one so which means item 4 is going to be fitted in item item uh, 1 like this so the way as you can see it the way is it is actually drawn horizontal for you you just take it the way as it is you come you fit it there understand so the outside diameter of it is what is 36 which will correspond with what with that one you understand and the head the head of it is of the thickness four millimeter which is corresponding with that one you understand so from here till there it's going to be 51 millimeter we'll see where, whether is it fitting there okay so item two which is the wheel item two uh, you see the internal diameter the of the shape which means the item the part that's supposed to be fitted here is supposed to be in the shape so which is which one is this one item five item five it should be fitted in item two or item two fitted in item five still one and same thing so you take this wheel you put it there you understand because you cannot draw without analyzing you have you firstly analyze those uh, items that you are given okay so let's see item six is of diameter 12 or m12 there so let's see this one is supposed to be fitted six into what into two so this one it should be fitted there they've told us what this one is diameter 12 or m12 so indeed this one it will be fitted there so item three the internal diameter of item 3 is what is diameter 20 so item 3 and what is the name of item 3 they said it's a collar you have to draw it once a collar so the, uh, the internal diameter is diameter 20 which is that one so the 20 to have diameter 20 
item 3 it will be fitted in what in item 5 so from here till there is diameter 20 and it has got this whole pin of diameter 4 and which correspond with this one diameter 4 so indeed this one it will be fitted there then item 7 it will be a uh, diameter 4 it will be now tightening what item 3 into item 5 like this you understand so now let's start to draw so we are going to start by drawing the what the bigger item which is item uh, 1 which is item 1 right so as much as you see item one is like this isn't it so i'll i'll draw this vertical center line i'll draw this vertical center line there you go it's a center line so it is out out of dimension is out of dimension so like this I think you can see uh, and then from there I'll have this horizontal one right here mm. it's a center line So if I'm having this two center line perpendicular against to each other is good as if it's this one, this one horizontal, this one vertical. So from there I can uh, remember the scale, the set is scale one is to one, isn't it? So I can uh, deal with it dimension of 128 millimeter, 128 millimeter. So one, two. 8 divided by 2, 1, 2, 8, hmm? 1, 2, 8 divided by 2, 64 millimeter. So then I come in from here, 64 up, 64 down. You understand? 64, this is 65. So I mark it zero and mark it hundred and twenty eight twenty-nine twenty eight right here. Understand? So from here from here till here is hundred and what hundred and twenty-eight. And that hundred and twenty-eight is going to give me what? It's going to give me these centers, only the centers. And remember that the question said throw a full. A full front, you understand? A full front. So which means thereby our views will be taking only the front views, only the front views, only the front views. So once I get there, I can now have another horizontal shorter faint line. Then from there, the set is diameter 22. The inner one is diameter 14. So it's going to be simple for you if you've got what this type of a ruler. Diameter. Let me position it nicely. Diameter 22. Where is my 22? Mm. The torch is this one. Then there you go. Then this is diameter 22, which is this one. Then I can also throw it down here. Diameter 22. Which 
which is this one. Then the inner one is diameter, diameter 14. So diameter 14. Thank you. 